Hey YouTube, my name is Brain Smasher. You knew that already. I found myself with a little bit of extra time today and I thought, what should I do with my extra time? What should I do with my extra time? Uh, how about I share some of my spare time with the now 1,000 subscribers on my channel. Wow, what the hell? How did that happen? How did that happen? Well. Here's to another 1,000. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being yourself. I've got a collection update today because I also have a mental illness where if I don't get a CD in the mail, I cry every day. So yeah, I got uh, I haven't been doing a lot of crying this week. I've been getting a lot of records in. So before we get too far into things, I thought I'd better check in with y'all and let you know what I've gotten in this week. While I speak to you about my mental illness and the one that you probably share with me in some regard, I'm going to be listening to, we're going to be listening to, London's uh, Vidernes Tolv Capital. Uh, I'm going to have the pleasure of meeting one of these guys, Andreas, this weekend. I'm going to be out of town, so you might miss me, and this might be my last video until next week, but, uh, yeah, this is a fucking great album. Man, I, I don't know, I, I never stop thinking so fondly of this record, but when, it's one of those things that when you put the album on, it, I don't know, it just feels like putting on your favorite shirt or something, it's just like, oh, there, there it is. Um, it's just so warm and comforting, memorable, um, Total Compendium, like part two to Ulver's Kveldsanger album, of course. Um, it really follows in that vein and continues off in a little bit of its own personality. Uh, but I fucking love this album to death. Need to get it on vinyl, but uh, yeah, check out Londom if you like what you hear. Uh, if you're like, before I found this album, I definitely found myself just longing for more stuff like there's uh, more acoustic records, you know, so this totally fills that void and there are a couple others that we can get into But yeah, London is one of the best, you know, replacements for um, Over addiction So I've got a couple LPs a couple CDs. Let's get started The first one is a band. I've been getting a couple of other releases from and I complained about how they come in a stupid DVD case and they're on CDRs that might not play in 10 years so uh, that was kind of a bummer, but I love the band Utgeit. Uh, but I just happened to be checking my email the other day and it notified me that this was available for $12 from the Utgeit uh, Bandcamp page. So, you know, it's a silk screened, one sided 12 inch LP. I don't know if that works or not. It's not really all that much to look at. In fact, it's one sided, you know, 12 minutes of music or so. The, when you buy the LP, you get a second like B-side in a way, but digital only B-side. So you get, in a sense, digitally a full-length album, if you will, but you're only getting a, sort of just a collectible memorabilia kind of thing. I just really wanted to send my $12 to this dot guy and say, thank you for using a different media than CDRs in DVD cases to proliferate your music. Um, I've listened to this once. Um, not really what I like about Utgeit. Um, it reminded me quite a bit of an Orthrealm album, the one with the green cover. I want to say it was called Ohm, maybe? O-M or O-V, something like that. Um, you figure it out. Next one, shit, this album is so good. Um, actually, I guess I'll start with this one. Um, Wyatt mentioned this album, Brulvana 2's Menstrual Extraction Ceremony. And I had no idea that this had come out on LP. Um, it was a big shocker to me because I was the one who brought this band to my former label, Pagan Flames. Uh, and we released this on CD in 2010, maybe. Um, the CD was great. It's a fucking phenomenal, phenomenal release. Uh, Funeral Industries wound up putting out this on LP. I'm a little bummed about the lack of artwork or packaging because the CD 
is chock full of these super fascinating paintings done by uh, Kim String is the name he goes by in the band but uh, so yeah I like if you like this at all I do recommend getting the CD because there's a shit ton of artwork that's missing in this you know you're really only getting this this and this and there's something like 12 or 16 pages in the booklet of the CD uh, and you don't have to flip it over so um, I, I, I just feel like it's kind of missing a little bit of the, the whole experience of this record but phenomenal fucking record it's just uh, I don't know super unique there's a little bit of saxophone on it um, it's I guess sort of blackened death metal sort of uh, cavernous and echoey in a way it's very lo-fi but in a way that um, he uses that to his advantage and, and, he, and it definitely helps out the atmosphere of the album it's just haunting at times it's one of the more chilling and haunting death metal records I've listened to in the last couple of years um, so it's super sinister, dark, and howling, and that, I think, kind of makes it a black metal record, but uh, I guess it's a lot lower toned, it's, it's kind of chuggy, uh, and in that way it's kind of a death metal record. So it's a little bit of both, it's black and atmosphere, but like um, phonetically in a way, it's more of a death metal album. So it toes the line between those two so well and has such a character of its own. So check out Menstrual Extraction Ceremony. Uh, by Brolvana too. This is on Funeral Industries and I got this from Iron Bonehead on the recommendation of Wyatt. So while I was ordering overseas, I don't think there was anybody in the States carrying this. Um, Iron Bonehead is something like, I don't know, when I first started hearing about Iron Bonehead, I kind of scoffed at it like, why the fuck am I going to bother ordering a bunch of LPs from overseas? But their prices are very, very um, competitive, I guess I would say. They're, they're lower, you know. It seems like what they're going for is that they know this stupid fat Americans can't help but buy too many records a week and so in a sense what they do is they lower their prices to uh, account for how much you're going to be paying on shipping so if you're in Europe I would think you've got to be ordering from this, these guys a lot they've got an extensive distro uh, but also in the United States I would say consider it if you're looking for some stuff um, secondly I wound up picking up Bellinos's Spice Leger um, this is out on Forgotten Wisdom, and this was only something like 12 or 13 euro, and the other one, Brovana 2, was something like 15 or 16 euro. So between the two of these records, I'd say I, I wound up spending maybe like $42 or so to get these from Germany to the U.S. So, you know, you would pay that probably if you went to a record store. You would probably pay like, I don't know, 22 25 or so for these. Um, they're single LPs, so... Maybe that helped out in the uh, cost of shipping. But this fucking band, this album, I cannot fucking recommend enough. If you know Bellinos, you fucking know what I'm talking about. Just thundering, mighty, pagan, Celtic metal. Um, I guess you would kind of say black metal, but really it's just, I don't know, thundering and mighty sort of uh, just metal and without any deviation. Um, it's a solo project, but it's incredible musicianship, incredible songwriting with tons of lush instrumentation. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, this is the Bellinos album to check out. Uh, I will definitely put a link in the description down below. But what an incredible fucking band that more people need to be listening to. Bellinos, man. Uh, French band, and I don't really know if that, if telling you that they're from France lends anything to the style or tells you what the style is like um and I don't know if I can really compare it to anybody just one of my favorite groups for the longest time uh super talented dude so that does it for the LP section got a couple of CDs in this is also from France Anthanath Hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. God, I'm getting tired of hearing people say that. I say it myself all the time, too. Let's just get over it. Anyways, this album is called States of Liberating Departure. Uh, I originally checked out this album because I am a pretty big fan of the original Death Spell Omega vocalist, Shazul. Now, um, also in this band is a guy named Welkin, and he plays bass in a band called Angmar. And I've always been a pretty big fan of Angmar. I've got a couple of their CDs. And he's a super talented bass player. And I can only count on one hand the amount of times I've said 
this black metal band or album has great bass playing in it, you know? Um, so this band has a great attention to detail and the production is sonically super fucking pleasing. But this is some hyper fucking speed, vicious fucking French black metal. So fucking good. I don't know why it took me so long to get a copy of this. Um, I've had, I've been listening to it for a couple of years and just kind of planning on getting a copy of it. Had it on my radar, you know, looking out for it. But I wound up finding it on Discogs for something like six or eight bucks. Had to fucking grab it. I can't recommend this enough either. You know, I feel like this video is full of just fucking stellar releases compared to a lot of my other ones. So I hope you guys check out some of the stuff that I'm talking about because this is some really, really fucking good stuff. Stuff that I feel like needs to go from that like lower level underground kind of stuff to the next fucking level. Anthanath is a killer fucking band and this is the album to get States of Liberating Departure. Hyper speed fucking French black metal man. Check this out. Next, uh, slowing it down a little bit, this is the fall of every season with their album Amends. Look at that handsome fella. Damn. I don't even want to bother with song titles, guys. Look, I got my hair cut. I'm a pretty Norwegian fella. Anyways, this is sort of dark metal, I guess I would say. Another super talented solo project. Uh, Growl Records put this out. By the way, before I... No, I'll tell you more about it. Um, yeah, stuff like The Rapture, Daylight Dies is another band that's kind of similar to this. Um, it's another one. I don't know. But dark metal it really essentially is what it comes down to. Killer songwriting. Um, uh, I, I, I'm striving me nuts. I got to think of what the other band is called that uh, sounds like this. I had it written on Saturnus is one, and then uh, Shape of Despair, that's it. Shape of Despair, if you're into that at all. This, I guess I would say, is a little bit further away from the traditional doom sort of thing, and a little bit more just uh, super melodic and acoustic kind of stuff. Super well produced. This is the kind of thing that should be on everyone's radar, really. It's not that underground sounding, in fact. And when I, honestly, when I first heard this record, I was just kind of like, ugh, this is a little too clean or wishy-washy for me. I don't know, but I kept finding myself coming back to it after years and years and years. It came out in 2010, maybe, I want to say, maybe 2000. I'm getting really bad with my years, I've noticed. Jeez, I should just stop it and give up. Anyways, check out Fall, the fall of every season of Men's Killer album. Um, and I'll tell you, the reason I picked the, these three CDs up, and I've talked about this before, but I'm going to waste my time telling you again. I cannot recommend enough ordering from Sepulchral Productions in Canada, whether you're in Canada or the United States. Their prices are so fucking good. Um, so I went on the metal detector, which is what I use to find pretty much everything I buy from a distro if it's not from Discogs. It's pretty much like Discogs and the metal detector are my two most often visited websites. So I found that this was the lowest price uh, distro selling it. So whenever I order from Sepulchral Productions, I usually get three or four CDs because I'm paying about six or seven bucks for shipping or so, which is, you know, a little bit on the high side if you were, you know, ordering from someone in the United States. So to make it worth your while, since you're paying a little bit more shipping, you're not going to pay any more for three CDs as opposed to one. So, um, the Canadian dollar exchange rate between the U.S. dollar is something like their Canadian dollar, if they're asking 10 Canadian dollars, which is what most of what they are on Sepulchral Productions, in U.S. dollars, that's seven bucks. So I had to pick up a couple of CDs for so fucking cheap with so cheap shipping. Uh, Lunar Aurora's Hoagasht, I'm going to say. Uh, this is the final Lunar Aurora album. And, you know, I was bummed, I guess, when Lunar Aurora first called it a day back in 2005 with their album Undocked, but uh, I was happy that they ended on a great note, and I was like, that, that does it, okay, one of my favorite bands put out a bunch of great stuff, no duds, and they ended on a high note, how about that? And then a couple years later, they got back together, and they did this album, and then they quit again. So, my first impression of this album was not all that great, and I'm kind of 
I just, I wanted to put this in my lap and really get settled with it and make myself decide whether I liked it or not. Uh, so that's where I'm at with that. I, I hope it goes well. I've listened to it maybe once or twice when it first came out and I was just kind of like, you know, before I hate this, I'm going to stop listening to this. But anyway, I've got a copy of it now and I have to decide. So that's that. Now, a couple of videos ago, I talked about this band, K Dotas, and their album Twilight Depths. Actually, it was an EP, uh, but fucking killer finished black metal, just straight and narrow, nothing weird about it. Um, so this is their album Seven Glorifications of Evil. This is a full-length album, and I have yet to listen to it, actually. I have high hopes for it. That EP was so fucking good. If this is even remotely close to as good as that EP, I'm going to love this for sure. Uh, so, minimal packaging, you know, just the way a black metal CD goes. So yeah, Sepulchra Productions, cheap as shit. I'm not getting paid to tell you this. I'm not getting paid by fucking anybody, obviously. I'm wasting all my money on this shit because I love metal like you do. So, that's it for today. I'm working quite a bit on another video. This is probably the most labor-intensive video I've worked on maybe since, uh, I don't know, the Q&A or something like that. I don't know, but uh, look for a new video with lots of editing and fancy shit going on uh, in the next week or so, and I'll be out of town over the weekend, so, you know, find something else to do. Get out of the house. Go to Dairy Queen, order yourself a fucking mint Oreo blizzard or something. Go to the park and feed the ducks. Um, you know, just get out of the house. Get get something, get some dirt underneath your feet. How about that? How about that? I'll see you next time. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for everything. Have a good everything.